Okay, I'm here with Yogi. This is Yogi. And Yogi lives in a house where uh, there's somebody that comes to help. And uh, this person, when this person comes through the door, Yogi is all super excited. He jumps up on her. Now, it's a problem when a dog jumps up on us when we come home or come through the door because that's a way of the dogs claiming us as their property. And so now he's claiming us. A lot of us, what, we, what do we do? We pet the dog. Well, anything your dog is doing when you pet it is what you're reinforcing. So now the dog's being trained. Oh, jumping up on a human, they want me to claim them. They reward me when I claim them. And then when we don't, the dog, we, the dog, when we don't listen to what the dog says, that stresses the dog out and it creates some confusion. So basically what I've done is I've asked the, the, the helper to leave and uh, she's only been gone for a couple minutes. So this is probably not going to be as boisterous as he normally is. But what I want the helper to do when she, when she comes in is she's going to open the garage door and come up and we're going to, uh, right now the door is actually, uh, the latch is not quite, uh, fit, uh, it's broken. So the dog can pound on the door and open it. We want to make sure that latch is closed. So what she's going to do is she's going to walk up to the door. Now this is a garage door, is a screen door into the garage. So the dog's gonna be able to see her, but the door is gonna provide a nice barricade and prevent him from getting to her. And if he jumps over the door, we're gonna ignore that for now. So what we're gonna do is, and I'm gonna explain all this and I'm gonna walk her through it, but she doesn't know what she's doing. I haven't shown her this yet. So what she's gonna do, she's gonna walk up the door and Yogi's gonna be there like jumping and barking and having a great, come on in, I wanna jump up all over you. There we go, there we go. All right, so now we're gonna, I'm gonna show you. So we're gonna go ahead, I want you to put your foot against the door so he can't open it. All right, so if you wanna go, hang on. There we go. Okay, so now he's in guard dog, a little bit of guard dog mode. So, and, and don't make any faces to him or do anything, just kinda of hang out there. Now you have your foot at the door, right? Is this normally uh, the same behavior he gives you or this is, uh, is he more unhappy? He's like in guard dog mode. He's a little bit off his game because this is different. So what we're gonna do, when he's all boisterous, you're gonna wait, you're not gonna give him any commands. We're gonna wait for him to settle himself down. Once he, and, and he's probably going to be here, and then rock back here, and walking around, doing circles, and you know, all sorts of confused. I know you're in guard dog mode. Different, that, that's how, he'll normally be acting differently. So basically what we're going to do is wait for that energy level to abate on its own. Now, once that's the case, and his energy is kind of relaxed, what the, uh, the uh, helper's going to do is, I'm gonna, in a second, I'm gonna, when I ask you to do this, uh, I'm going to point at you. When I point at you, I want you to jiggle the handle, but not open the door, just to make the sound. What we want to do is we want to teach the dog the behavior that is expected throughout this entire encounter. We look at this as one thing. We open the door and come inside. It's actually a whole lot of little steps. Sit. Here we go. Uh, you're not going to do that here. He's just kind of beefing a little bit, trying to settle. So when he hears the door, uh, or uh, first step is the garage door opens, and he hears that. Then he runs over here. That's step number two. Then he sees the person walking the door, number three. And then he starts, uh, then she reaches the handle, that's number four. Then the sound of the, the left button being pressed. Then the door opened a little bit. And then the person comes inside. We look at this one fluid motion, but it's actually a whole bunch of individual steps. So what we want to do, for some reason it comes to dogs, we try to train them in the moment of doing it, which is the worst way to learn to do anything. We like to learn in a classroom environment. So we're, in, we're encouraged to try different versions of it. If it doesn't work, then we try the teacher's way. Hey, that worked. Okay, well, then I feel empowered because I tried different ones. You didn't tell me what to do. I came to the own conclusion on my own. This really is a form of operant conditioning. So basically, once he's, his energy has abated, you're going to be standing out there. So when you do this, make sure, if you're the person who's doing this, make sure that you've gone to the bathroom before you get here and you have a cup of coffee or whatever so you can drink. It's going to be a minute. That's what you look for. Jiggle. And that's what's going to happen. The dog's going to hear that and rush all the way to the door. Yes, right now he's, this, he's a little confused because we've been working on a whole bunch of stuff. This is about two hours in this session. So when he does it, he's going to race to the door. And then you just pull your hand back and just wait. If he's really beef, if he's really excited, if I'm facing the door, I can like maybe turn sideways. And again, I'm not going to give him any corrections or any commands whatsoever. I'm going to wait for his energy to abate. When it does, jiggle it again. And he's going to rush to the door. And we're going to keep on doing this step and this step alone until eventually the jiggle at the door, he's like, whatever, you're a tease. You're not coming in. And then, then he almost moves away a little bit. So now go ahead and jiggle it and open it just a crack and then close it right away. And then close it. So now we're, the next step, I mean, it could be one step. If he's here, the first step might be just reaching for the handle. He gets excited. He might not even make it to the handle. So the first step, you might have to go back and forth several times, and each time, make sure you reset your arm all the way down and wait for him to calm himself down. And then, uh, I think we have somebody else that just showed up. Uh, so basically, 
the first step is just reaching. Second step is jiggling. Third step is opening a little bit and closing it, and then a little bit more and closing it, and then a little bit more. So you're basically just doing it gradually over and over again. And again, each time that he gets excited, we stop, we wait for him to calm down, and then we try to repeat that step again. But we don't go to the next step until he's behaving the behavior, that we, or he's showing us the behavior we want multiple times in a row. By the time we actually come through the door, he's like, man, it took you like five minutes to come through the door, and I'm over it. He can't stay in this crazy energy forever. And then when he comes in, we've abated the exercise, uh, or the energy level. Um, he's kind of, we've conditioned him that the only way that a person's coming in is when, the, when you're calm. And that way when the person comes in, they're not jumped up and, uh, and accosted. Now we can set him up for success by, everybody, come. Uh, and moving slow is a warning. And that's what he's moving slow because he's uncomfortable with what's going on. I'll talk about that off camera here in a sec. But if you ever see a dog moving slow, they're either un indecisive or uncertain about what they're doing or they're saying, I'm warning you. So basically, uh, when we come inside, if he gets excited, just so come, come inside, but don't let yourself all the way in. Start coming inside. If he starts rushing and bouncing, step back outside and we're gonna wait for him to calm down. And if, he, if you have to, turn sideways to him and just wait for him to relax. I like the Dalmatians, I have Dalmatians. I'm, we have dog uh, <laughs> wallpaper here, which is awesome. So basically the idea is after a while, he's like, oh, the, the process of her coming in is so boring. And this is the energy level he'll have. He's gonna be better equipped to control himself because his energy is in a more controlled energy zone. Now, we can also set him up for success by exercising him before we assume he's going to come through this door. So if we have somebody in the house that could exercise him, we just make sure he gets about 10 minutes of recovery time before the anybody comes to the door. Uh, but this is a great way to set your dog up for success. And that way, come here, buddy. That way, every time Yogi, uh, somebody comes to the door, by the time Yogi interacts with them, they're, he's calm, relaxed, and balanced, and he's better uh, equipped to handle his faculties. All right, let's do this. Yogi! Yogi, come here, buddy. Sit, sit. Now retreat should go in the mouth first. They should hear the command word immediately after. This is Yogi, and these are some tips and tricks you can use if you have a dog that, like Yogi, gets like all jumpy and excited when people come to the door. <laughs>